So I'm going to go ahead and get started with the lesson today. As you guys know, I'm absent. So I want you guys to go ahead and get started on page 792. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and try to go ahead and do this quick. If you guys need help, I want you guys to go ahead and watch the video probably a few times. Uh, we're going to go ahead and be covering median, mode, and uh, mean. And um, I'm going to go ahead and explain you as I go ahead and do the set of numbers that I have right here. So really quick mode uh you guys are supposed to go to be looking on page 792 mode is the number that repeats the most times um based on the numbers that i have right there uh you guys have these set of numbers the example on page 792 as you guys can see 18 it's a number that repeats twice or two times uh, so that's gonna go and be considered the mode um since it repeats twice that's the only number that repeats more than once now the medium it's a number that it's located in the middle so how am i going to go ahead and get the medium just like i said right now it's a number that it's located in the middle i can go ahead and do this several ways i'm going to go ahead and count the numbers then i'm going to go ahead and cut or get the half of that number line uh, very important for you guys to go ahead and put in your numbers from least to greatest. That's a must, okay? So I have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11 numbers. So that means that I must have 5 numbers on the left, 5 numbers on the right. And my 6th number will be the number that it will be located right in the middle. And this is what we call the median, okay? Now, there's one more thing that I, I'm going to go ahead and do right now. Uh, this is the mode. That's a number that repeats more than once, maybe twice, maybe three times. It's the number that appears the most on that number line right there. Okay. Uh, now, how am I going to go ahead and get the mean for that one? I want you guys to go ahead and also uh, work on this one. Uh, and that's going to go ahead and be on page 783, 784. Um, and that'll be it. So let me go ahead and work out the example that I have right here. So what I'm going to have to do is to go ahead and add up all the numbers. So I'm going to go ahead and get started uh, doing two numbers at a time. I can, You guys can go ahead and do whatever you guys want. The important thing right here, it's not to go ahead and get confused as you guys are adding the numbers. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with these two. 12 plus 16, that's a 28. So these two guys are out of the way. 18 and 18, that's a 36. They're gone. Um, I have a 25. Uh, I have 28 plus 30, that's a 58. They're gone. Uh, 34 and 36, that's going to go ahead and give me a 70. And then at last, the last pair, it's 86. Now, I have to go ahead and add them up, okay? All I did was to go ahead and do a little short combination of the numbers. So, I'm going to go ahead and add them up all at once, if possible. Uh, if not, I'm going to go ahead and break them down by doing them in groups. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these two guys together. So six and eight, that's a four, you carry a one. That's a 64 plus 25. That will give me 89 plus 58. That's a seven, eight, nine, 14. Um, then 70 plus 86 will give me a 8 and 7, 15, 156. Last step is to go ahead and combine these two guys. Uh, 7 and 6, that's a 3. Uh, you carry a 1 or a 13. 5, 6, 10. I carry another 1 and that's... 303. Now, I'm going to go ahead and go back. Uh, how did I get 303? 
I added all these numbers, okay? I added all that set of numbers. Where these numbers came from, they came from the sum of that number line right there, okay? So my outcome came up to 303. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete them or go back until I go ahead and get started with my uh, mean. So give me a few seconds, guys. Three hundred and three. That's the sum of my eleven numbers. Now, in order for you guys to go ahead and get the mean, you guys have to go ahead and get three hundred three, and I have to go ahead and divide it by the total amount of numbers that are in the number line, and that will be eleven. Okay, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. So I'm gonna go ahead and divide three hundred and three by eleven. And that's going to go ahead and give me my median. I'm sorry, my mean, okay? The median means the number located on the on half of the number line. As you guys notice, I have five numbers on the, we can call this the left side. And then I have as well five numbers on the right side. And if you notice, number 28, it's in between. So that's going to go ahead and be the median. Uh, my mode is the number that repeats the most. How do I get the mean? I added all these numbers, 12 plus 16 plus 18 plus 18 plus 25 plus 28 plus 30 plus 34 plus 36 plus 42 plus 44. Um, I got a sum of 303. Then I'm gonna go ahead and divide that number by 11. And that's going to go ahead and give me a total of, 11 goes into 30 twice. I get a 28, I'm, I'm sorry, a 28, uh, a 22. I subtract, I get a three. That's gonna go ahead and give me a seven. Uh, I get 77. Uh, subtract, that's gonna go ahead and give me a six. Uh, don't forget to go ahead and up, up your decimal, bring it down. Then I'm gonna go ahead and get a 60. And my mean will be 27.5, okay? That's gonna go ahead and be my mean for this problem. And I'm gonna go ahead and stop right there, guys, so I don't go ahead and make the problem, I mean the video, way too long. I'm gonna go ahead and give you instructions with the sub, so you guys know exactly what to do. If you guys are having a hard time, we're gonna have to go ahead and work out on some Excel. I'll see you guys Monday. Please do your work.